Hi, my name is Jakob Winter. I'm part of the user experience team at the Microsoft Development Center in Copenhagen, MDCC. I'm here to do a presentation about how we take on the challenge of uh, making software simple to use. MDCC is the home for uh, the engineering teams from uh, Microsoft Mister Solutions. We develop software for Dynamics, uh, the software called Dynamics uh, NAV, AX, C and CRM recently. Uh, in this short talk, I will introduce you to how we work to uh, make software that is simple to use. Um, uh, there are many opinions and, and approaches to, to how to take on that challenge. Uh, and um, I framed it in a number of pieces. If you are developing software uh, for a living, you will probably know each of the items I'm describing. Um, but I hope that some of the uh, descriptions will, or the combination will be interesting to you. If you're not developing software uh, for a living, this is you're the one I had in mind when doing this presentation, and I hope you might find some uh, areas that will, you will be able to apply in your job. Uh, I will do a quick overview of the content of the talk. Um, uh, there are two streams to the uh, work we do. There's a lot of activity around understanding, and um, there's activities related to design. Scenarios of use are the starting point for all the software projects we do. Uh, I will briefly discuss uh, how we think about scenarios of use. Being a talk about complexity, I will describe what kind of complexity we are dealing with. There are, on the daily basis, a lot of the uh, work related to engineering of the software, so I'll introduce you to uh, uh, the, the way we do the engineering. And lastly, the most important part of, of our work are the users of, of our software, and, uh, and there's a lot of our, our activity that we, we, we is, is about understanding how users perceive and think about this, the task that they do in their jobs. Um, also, a lot of the design uh, activities related to learning and to sketching, uh, to experimenting, and to um, building the fit and finish of our products. All those are uh, fit nicely into the category of, of design. There are a lot of different disciplines uh, in research and industry who has an opinion about how to use uh, user interface design. And really, user interface design is an interesting discipline between what you could call art and optimization. So really a design task where we can work off a white canvas and uh, uh, dream up great scenarios, but they're also constraints in terms of the technology and the actual work that people want to use our software for. So truly a design discipline. The starting point and the ending point for the software projects that we run are the scenarios. Scenarios of use, meaning the places, the context where users take advantage of the software to get their job done uh, uh, efficiently and, and um, uh, with enjoyment. And the um, scenario and the product together is really the match between those that makes the difference to the users. You can have great scenarios, you can have great products, but it's really only when the scenario and the product goes hand in hand that users get the uh, kind of simplicity uh, that we are striving for. Um, to achieve simplicity, the main uh, focus uh, should be the, um, uh, the, the fit between the scenario and the focus. You can't do, you can't be everything to everybody, so an important enabler of simplicity is really to, to drive down uh, the scenarios you are uh, trying to address so you can get a good fit for the product. So we are constantly reminding ourselves to make up our mind about who is this particular product for, which scenarios do we want to enable. And a, and a, a key message here is that um, enabling uh, users in this context of use is important to get the value um, uh, out of, of, of the product. And when we are scoping down the scenarios, we want to obviously validate um, uh, the bets we are taking with users, and that's an important activity for 
uh, the scenario writing. But scenarios and products being the start and the end of a project, let's look at what is in between um, in sort of the, the main part of the software project. Really, simplicity is, is a feeling that people have when you're using your product. So starting with the, with the beholder of that feeling is, is obviously important. Um, as human beings, we are sharing a lot of commonalities in terms of the way we perceive and, and what the, 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 uh, uh, our senses, how they work. Uh, and we are uh, uh, drawing on a lot of research in psychology and semiotics and what have you in terms of making good, uh, um, making the best design choices in terms of how we as human beings can work with technology. But there are also um, important parts of our uh, work that need to look more specifically at what are people doing uh, with the software. And the um, learning of uh, going out with customers and learn what they are uh, doing in their job and, and what tasks they have is important for uh, uh, us to be able to create a simple solution uh, for people uh, uh, with the technology. Um, one of the main, uh, uh, the, the main foundation for the work we do to understand what people are doing with our software is what we call the customer model. So the customer model is, a, is built on research that is uh, um, taking place continually, uh, engaging with users, learning about their work, and compiling all this information into uh, a customer model, which is basically a representation, a fictitious representation of the kind of users we have and what they are doing with the software. Um, it is, we used to say, it is precise but not accurate. So the point is that it's not accurate with respect to any particular customer, but it's precise, it, it represents a precise understanding on, of who our users are. So we compile this information into an easy consumable uh, website in this case, uh, where the teams we are working with can go in and read about the users and understand the context of use when they are designing uh, the software for those users. <clears throat> so, on the basis of understanding what users are doing, the engineering project starts. And with any kind of engineering that involves users, uh, there's a bit of trial and error. So a lot of engineering disciplines can draw on uh, scientific principles, uh, but when you are designing uh, artifacts or uh, when you're designing use, there's very little uh, 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 precise theory that you can apply. You can't easily compute the perfect user interface design. So user interface design and the, the, the act of, of designing uh, these uh, uh, systems so that they are simple to use, uh, is very much what you could call a trial and error process. So you have an idea for how to do something. You are sketching up uh, 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 the layout or the, the idea, and you're testing with users, and you're getting results, and you're iterating, and you're refining, and you're gradually building uh, uh, confidence in a particular approach to, to do the, the design. A few examples from that uh, sketching process uh, which starts very primitively on a piece of paper and gradually builds up to be a more precise idea about what is, what, what, what is it part of the screens, what kind of task flow is related to the software. And this type of inquiry is needed to be able to maintain the simple approach that you started off with all through the, the sketching and the refinement of the idea. When it goes well, we end up with a nicely uh, um, formatted and simple to use user interface that also has to live up to uh, uh, high visual, uh, uh, high standards for the visual quality uh, because very much uh, the, the chain is no stronger than the, the, the weakest part. So uh, users will uh, uh, need a consistent uh, experience all through the way from the context of use through the task step through to the visual quality to really feel the, the, the quality emanating from uh, the product. 
And it's not just about desktop or it's not just about phone. These days, the designs uh, uh, in user interface is really uh, 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 covering both desktop and tablets and phone. So the design goes on, not just for one target, but multiple at the same time. The last bit, now that this is a talk about complexity as well, is related to um, uh, what type of complexity that we are dealing with. So NAV, for example, is a product that has thousands of use cases and very many screens. So this type of complexity, we have been handling that for a long time. Uh, the new type of complexity, you could say, is related to uh, the type of evolution that goes on in the internet space these days. So the platform, the ultimate basis for the experience that users are getting, is not delivered by uh, a, a single vendor. Uh, it's delivered by a great uh, a patchwork of technologies that all come together to deliver these fantastic uh, uh, services we have on our phones and, and screens. And this type of uh, uh, platform requires much more experimentation that maybe uh, goes on, that maybe went on in the past. Um, a bridge engineer is fighting the forces of nature, but very much a software engineer is fighting the forces of the other software engineering delivering pieces uh, and bits to, to the platform that ultimately deliver experiences to users. And we are seeing an, an, a fantastic um, uh, 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 um, we're seeing a fantastic uh, uh, set of experiences building from these types of, of internet platforms, but it also puts some strain on uh, uh, the developers and the engineers in that space. Um, there are many moving parts, uh, and it's not, no longer very easy to uh, uh, predict exactly the kind of experience uh, that is coming out of the uh, uh, work. Anyway, we are uh, back to where we started. Uh, through sketching, through experimentation, through building the product, we have a, a, a final product. And when everything has been uh, aligned along the way, we end up with a product that fits nicely with the scenarios of use. Uh, and users are having a great experience, hopefully a simple experience with uh, uh, the product. This ends the talk. I've gone through the areas of importance when designing complex software that's simple to use. I hope that you uh, found it interesting and thank you for your time. Goodbye.